Good afternoon and welcome to day five of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe's Novena for Peace in Ukraine. I am Archbishop John Wester and for the following days, we encourage you to join with your family and friends as we all pray for peace, not only in Ukraine, but throughout our world. Today's Novena prayers will be led by Deacon Robert Vigil, Director of Pastoral Outreach for the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Good afternoon. Welcome to day five of our Novena for Peace in Ukraine. My name is Deacon Robert Vigil from the Parish of Sacred Heart within the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Father in heaven, have mercy on us and on the whole world. You sent your son, the Prince of Peace, for the salvation of the world. We pray that the peace of Christ will reign in Ukraine. Please protect and send aid to those in Ukraine and all who are at risk. We pray for peace. We pray for all who are working towards it and for all who are in danger from this conflict. We pray for an end to violence and war. We pray for wisdom for all leaders who have a hand in this. Lord God, please help those in most need of thy mercy. Por la iglesia en Ucrania, para que el pueblo de Dios pueda estar libre para adorar en paz. Señor, en tu misericordia, escucha nuestra oración. For the church in Ukraine, that the people of God may be free to worship in peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Den Piatei. За церкву в Україні, щоб народ Божий міг вільно молитися в мирі. Господи, у Твоїй милості, почуй нашу молитву. Bendita Virgen María, Reina de la Paz, ruega por nosotros. San José, Protector de María, de Jesús y de la Iglesia, ruega por nosotros. San Miguel, Arcángel, Patrono de aquí, ruega por nosotros. Señor Jesús, Príncipe de la Paz, Que tu reino reine en Ucrania y en todo el mundo. Amén. Nuestra Señora de la Paz, ruega por nosotros. Pray of Saint Francis for peace. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Молитва Святого Франциска за мир Господи, Вчини мене знарядям Твого миру, щоб я сіяв любов там, де панує ненависть, прощення там, де панує кривда, мир там, де панує незгода, надію там, де панує розпач, світло там, де панує темрява, радість там, де панує смуток. О Божественний Учителю, чи не так, щоб я міг не так шукати відради, як давати її, 
Не так шукати розуміння, як розуміти. Не так, шука... не так шукати любові, як любити. Подаючи, одержуємо. Прощаючи, отримуємо прощення. А помираючи, народжуємось до життя вічного. Амінь. Thank you for joining us today for this day five for our Novena for Peace in Ukraine. Join us again tomorrow, March 19th, 2022 at noon as we welcome Most Reverend James Wall, Bishop of Gela, for day six of our Novena for Peace in Ukraine. I'd like to offer some possible acts of reparation that we can all do I invite you to choose at least one of them. For example, you could take a break from television and social media today, and then consider spending that time praying with today's reflection. Or you could pray the prayer, the peace prayer of St. Francis, our patron saint. A link to the prayer is in the description box. Or you could offer some other sacrifice, prayer or act of penance that you feel called to do for today's intention. May God bless you all, and let us continue to pray for peace in Ukraine.